Welcome to this video on business and entrepreneurship education. For this session, we are going to talk about needs and wants. So people have basic needs. They have to fulfill these basic needs to be able to survive. Examples of basic needs are food, shelter and clothing. Food is anything that nourishes the body and which helps it to be active. Food can be defined as any substance taken and assimilated by a plant or animal to keep it alive and to grow. Examples of food are bread, rice, fruits, vegetables, fish, which we can buy in supermarkets, markets or hypermarkets. We also need clothing. Clothing is also known as clothes, attire, worn on the body. It can be made of textiles, animal skin or other sheets or material put together. Clothing protects against many things that might injure the uncovered human body. It also protects people from the rain, snow, wind and the sun. We also need shelter to protect us from bad weather. It is also one of our basic needs. It protects us against cyclone, torrential rain and so on. People have shelters in many different forms depending on their social status or circumstances. Examples of shelter are houses, huts, apartments and igloo. Apart from needs, people also have wants. Wants are our desires. They are not essential for survival. Examples of wants are watches, laptops, jewelry and so on. After satisfying his basic needs, he or she should spend his or her money on goods and services, on products that make life easier, life more comfortable for people. Examples are bungalows, mobile phones and cars. Goods are tangible. It means that they can be seen or touched. Examples are books, shoes and pens. Services they are intangible. They cannot be seen or cannot be touched. Examples are transportation, education, communication and banking. Wants vary from person to person. It depends on the person's ability to pay or on their purchasing power. If someone is poor, he or she will not spend too much on products classified as wants. For example, a person may spend 1,000 rupees on a mobile phone, whereas someone having more purchasing power may want to spend 10,000 rupees. People satisfy their basic needs first and then they spend money on wants. They need to fulfill their basic needs. They must have food, shelter and clothing first. Then they are going to spend on their wants. The key characteristics of wants are they are unlimited. This means that human wants never come to an end. The wants vary from individual to individual as their tastes and preferences are different. Wants keep increasing over time. Entrepreneurs now. An entrepreneur is someone willing to take risk. Why he is going to take risk? Because he is going to use some of his personal money and he may lose some or part of this money. If the business is successful, however, any money left over will belong to the entrepreneur. This is called profit. The entrepreneur is determined to create his own business, not to work as an employee for another firm. He wants to make decisions by himself and does not want to work for another person. He wants to be his own boss. He starts a new business by bringing together all the resources necessary for success. He will look for land, labor and capital so that business activity can take place. An enterprise is a business which takes risk to produce items to be sold in view of making profit. Now we come to the basic economic problem. We have seen that Wants are unlimited, but unfortunately resources are limited. It leads to the basic economic problem, which are scarcity but unlimited wants. 
Because of this, people will have to make a choice, and it leads to opportunity cost. So, in this example, we have four items, each one costing 10,000 rupees. But a person only has 10,000 rupees available. And that person has decided to buy the bicycle. He has made a sacrifice. He has not bought the mobile phone, the PlayStation, or the books. So, the sacrifice is the opportunity cost. The definition for opportunity cost is the next best alternative for gun. If you want any additional resources, you may go to these links. Well, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you and goodbye.